Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video today um, about recovering a bricked LSI SAS controller. Um, I bought this card on eBay last week, got a pretty good deal on it. It's a 9211-8i uh, and when I plugged it into my server to just make sure it was flashed to the latest version of IT mode, I think that's currently version 20 at the time of making this video. I, I don't know if they're going to make any newer versions for this specific card, but Anyways, it just wasn't showing up, wasn't being detected. Uh, I plugged it into my PC, uh, still not detected. Um, so I tried a few different ports on my server, uh, a few of the different PCI Express slots. Um, still nothing was showing up. Um, I have an identical card. Uh, seems to be maybe a different revision, but another 9211-8i, uh, and that one is um, seen just fine. So I you know, was thinking, you know, this card is possibly dead. But uh, just to be safe, I downloaded the uh, SAS um, kind of DOS uh, utility to check the card, and I was able to fix it. Uh, I was getting an error that I'll uh, post down in the description of the video. Basically, it was saying that the card um, was in an unrecoverable state, and I needed to flash new firmware uh, when I tried to erase it for the initial uh, flash, so I don't know if the previous seller bricked it trying to flash it to you know an IT mode or something and that's why I was able to get such a good deal on it I think um, you, these usually go for at least $25-$30 uh, if not more so $20 for one uh, is a pretty good deal especially if I'm able to flash it to IT mode myself uh, so anyways I was able to get it flashed and uh, get it working but um, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, KVM and I will show you the steps I took uh, unfortunately, I already fixed it, so you can't follow along. I should have maybe made the video uh, beforehand, but I can still kind of show the commands uh, I was getting and the errors I was getting. All right, so I'll see you guys uh, in the KVM. Uh, all right, before we actually um, boot into uh, the Flash utility, there's a few things we need to set up first. Uh, so we're going to need a USB drive that we don't care about um, as far as the files on there. Uh, because we are going to be uh, flashing it with free DOS. Um, so if you have anything important on there, make sure to back it up because it will uh, completely erase, erase the drive and you will not uh, be able to keep your files. Um, so once you get the USB drive and plug it into the computer uh, that you're using, um, we're going to need to download a program to set up free DOS. I like to use Rufus, uh, the latest version. This is uh, 3.8. Dot one five eight zero at the time of making this video, and we're going to make sure to select the proper device. Um, in this case, it's the J drive. Uh, Rufus is usually pretty good about making sure it only selects USB drives and ignores your system drive, like C or D or any other uh, important hard drives that you might have. Uh, but if you do have, um, you know, any other drives that are showing up here, make sure that you select the one that uh, we are going to flash to. Uh, free DOS. So then once you do that, make uh, go to the boot selection and you're going to make sure to select free DOS. Um, these ones are for if you want to like make a ISO bootable or something, but for this case we just want uh, a bootable DOS drive. Um, you can use a small uh, uh, flash drive. I just plugged this one in for an example, but I actually have a 512 megabyte one that I'll, I'll be using to um, demonstrate the flashing that's already plugged and set up in the server. Um, so once that's done, go ahead and start. And then while that's uh, processing, um, it should only take a couple minutes, we're actually going to uh, download the correct files. I'll put, put the link in the description of the video. This specific package is for the 9211-8i uh, uh, P20, and it has the IR and the IT firmware, IR being the uh, RAID mode. Um, once we download that, there are going to be a few files that we need to copy and paste to the root of our bootable flash drive. So once you get that uh, open and extracted, uh, you're going to go into the firmware folder here, and then you're going to go into the HBA underscore 9211 uh, underscore 8i dat underscore IT, and then there and copy the uh, 2118it.bin file. So you're going to copy that and paste it into uh, the root of the USB drive and then go back up to uh, the main directory of this file and you're going to grab the uh, inside the sas 2 flash underscore dos folder you're going to grab uh, sas 2 uh, flashexe copy and paste that 
uh, into the root and then the last file we need is uh, in the SAS BIOS uh, underscore REL folder and you're going to copy the mptcas2.rom uh, file. So copy and paste that and then once you get those uh, pasted in the root of the USB drive um, go ahead and uh, we're ready to reboot the computer so plug the USB drive into uh, the computer where the LSI uh, card is plugged into and then we're going to need to go into the BIOS and set the uh, flash drive to be the boot device. Uh, so once that's done go ahead and reset the computer. Um, I will go ahead and launch uh, my KVM, turn on the computer and show you the next steps. Okay, once you get uh, booted into your USB flash drive, uh, I like to check a few things first just to make sure all the files are correctly on there. So if you just uh, do a, a DIR uh, command, you will get a readout of all the files um, that are on the f uh, flash drive along with any folders, uh, etc. So as you can see, we have um, our flash utility and then the two uh, firmware files. So uh, another thing we should do uh, is just make sure that uh, the um, LSI HBA card is detected. So if we can just run the flash utility, if you just start typing in it in and hit tab, usually it'll uh, populate for you anyways. And if you do dash list all, it should start to um, print out uh, the cards we have selected. So as you can see, adapter selected is LSI SAS uh, 2008, and then it's going to read the uh, firmware on the card, um, and that should only take a minute or so. Uh, but basically, the issue I was getting uh, when um, getting ready to flash the card um, was it was uh, you start off by typing in. Uh, a command to erase the card and it was giving me an error. So first of all I was really surprised the card even sh uh, showed up. I was actually about to message the eBay seller and just say hey unfortunately the card doesn't work you know I need to either return it or get a new one um, but you know I'd be kinda bummed because I feel like this was a really good deal and I don't think the seller uh, had any more. This was actually like an auction that I won uh, at the last minute so that was a really good deal but um, so usually you'd start off, you type at the uh, flash command and then O to enter in advance mode, uh, dash E, and then 6. So I'm not going to do this because I don't want to actually erase my card and reflash it. But I, would, I went in to do this hoping maybe I could just flash the normal way. And it was giving me an error. So I knew I needed to do something. After a little research, it just sounded like the card um, either had just been erased or just had a bad flash. So when I did that, it was giving me the error. Controller is not operational. A firmware download is required. Enter the firmware file or quit to exit. And I tried just entering the firmware file like the 2118it.bin. Um, it said it couldn't find the file or I entered the mpt uh, sas 2rom file. Uh, again, it couldn't see anything. So um, I just decided to just shoot, just go with it. I'll just try and flash it. So the command to flash it um, is you know we're going to do uh, get our uh, flash utility again and then uh, dash O to get it into advanced mode and then you're going to type F and then the uh, 2118it.bin uh, you're going to type that in and then B uh, dash B excuse me and then the MP uh, TS and then ROM file and then once you flash this um, you know, it, it just went through and flashed. It took a couple minutes, um, but it actually flashed, flashed successfully. And um, you know, so I think I think we are on the right path here. Now, normally, what you do is you would do the erase command first, and then once that erase, uh, then you would enter this command. Uh, in my case, the erase didn't work, but doing this uh, worked. And then again, you just kind of one last time uh, want to go through and. Um, just list all, we'll do the list all command and just uh, double check that your um, card actually shows up. So it's a good sign that we have the uh, adapter selected as the LSI SAS uh, 2008. 
and then um, in a couple of minutes it should show up the SAS 2008, the firmware version 20, and then with the MV data and the uh, X86 BIOS and PCI address. So we'll just wait another second here and make sure that the card is showing up. And looks like there it is. Um, so we are actually going to just uh, reset the um, computer and just make sure that the card is actually um, working and uh, we'll see if um, it shows up in the actual utility. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset this server here. Um, this, this is the IPMI view uh, console. It's a really nice utility. I, I'll go ahead and do a video on this later, but um, really nice to have if you have a super micro uh, computer that has the IPMI. So we'll go ahead and reset the computer here. So it's going to take a minute and it's booting up. All right, so it's going through its post setup. Oh, and there is the um, SAS controller. So it's uh, initializing here, and then we're going to go ahead and just, you know, mash the the con control C button so we make sure we can get into the uh, utility. So it's please wait invoking the SAS configuration utility. All right, and there we go. As you can see, um, I have my SAS 9211-AI listed uh, with you know kind of the PCI bus, uh, etc. listed there, status enabled. Uh, the firmware revision is the version 20 IT mode, and just some you know other status. But basically, uh, looks like you know the flash was successful. Um, before, when I plugged the card in, it wouldn't even show anything. Like it would just go through the boot. Uh, you know, order and not even give me the option where I knew that it, sh it should have given me this kind of uh, config utility because my other 9211 uh, 8i just shows up. So, you know, I was really surprised this worked, you know, kind of happy that I was able to get a good deal. Um, now, this was specifically for, specifically for the 9211-8i. Um, it should be very similar on most of the other LSI controllers from this generation or if you're flashing like one of the Dell or uh, other server model ones um, to the similar firmware. I know there's like the Dell 310 or I think Fujitsu, Fujitsu uh, makes one, but uh, I hope you found this video useful. I'll probably make another shorter one just going over how to flash the card itself because I know probably a lot of people get these cards and they're working just fine, um, but they might be on the RAID controller mode or they might just be on an older firmware. I know for like Unraid or FreeNAS, um, it's best to have uh, the latest uh, IT mode firmware for the best compatibility. And, you know, it's good for if you're going to be running like Linux or Proxmox or even Windows um, just for the best uh, version. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys had this video, uh, found this video useful and uh, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and uh, drop a comment. Thanks.